Hi, I'm Celine, technical writer with Smart Learning Suite Online. And today I'd like to show you some new features we've added to our collaborative workspace activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my lesson here. I'm teaching my students about civilizations, cities, and natural resources. And there are a couple places where I would like them to engage and collaborate and provide some feedback. So here's the first spot. I want them to identify natural resources that they see in this picture. And I didn't actually have time before class to convert this to a workspace, but fortunately, if I open up the class panel here, you'll see that these options pop up at the bottom of the page, and I can actually choose to convert this to a collaborative workspace activity. So we'll go ahead and do that. And here's one of the new features that we've added to workspaces. Previously, you had to choose a certain number of teams and you had to have at least two but we realized sometimes you'd like to have your students all collaborating on the same page, just one group exercise. So now you can choose everyone on one team. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now all the students who are connected to my lesson can start drawing on the page to circle the resources that they notice. So you can see one of my students has circled the farmland here. That's a great option. You also have the ability to jump in as a teacher and circle something. There's another student who noticed the mountains. That's a great place to harvest ore and that sort of thing. I'll circle the water to point out to them that's another resource we should be talking about. So this is a great way to just get discussions going, get everyone in the class involved. And now we'll go ahead to the end of the lesson where I have a workspace that I prepared. So we'll choose start for class. And I was kind of planning here to break the students into two groups. So we'll go ahead and do that and let them give some feedback. Um, as we pointed out before, you have the ability to move students around if you're not happy with the grouping, so that's great. I'll go ahead and start the workspace. Now here you have a screen where you have the option to choose um, which workspace you'd like to have a look at if you'd like to see the work that your students are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this one and have a look at what my students are doing. And here on the class panel are some of the new things that we have added that I'm going to show to you. So you had the ability in the past to upload pictures using this Bing safe search. So your students can search online, find a picture. It looks like they have a picture of medieval London here. That's great. Um, and they can add a picture that they found online to the class. But we've also added up here the ability to select an image. And if you press this button, what you can actually do is upload an image from whatever device you're using. So if my students are on their phones, they could actually upload something from their camera roll. This might be great if you want to take a picture of something you've written on the page. And now we see here that the students have added another picture of modern London. So that's great. There's a bit more flexibility with images now. The other thing we've done is we know you want students to be able to cite their sources uh, when they're providing and inserting content here. So we've added this at a web link search bar where they can actually uh, put in the link of the source material for what they've put on screen. So that's another added benefit if you're asking students to reference their sources. The next thing we've done we're really excited about is we've added the ability to add typed text. We know that if you're trying to put words in here, it's a little bit awkward to just use the pen. So now students have the ability to just type in responses, which is great. And you'll notice here, we'll go back, students have actually added this commentary population boom because I've been teaching them about the population boom that happened in medieval London. So those are some of the latest features in Smart Learning Suite Online. Next time you're in here, hop in, give workspaces a try, and let us know what you think in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our support channel and keep an eye on the new features in Smart Learning Suite Online playlist. Thanks for watching.